Hello guys and welcome to Aloft. This is an open world game set in a cloud system where we are going to be operating a flying island. While we uh, try to rebalance the ecosystem by curing a fungal infection. And to do that we have to acquire knowledge and craft and survive just like we're used to in many other crafting games. But let's into head into the game. So. It is in demo mode right now on Steam for free, so you can try uh, at least some of the game. Um, and you see I already made a character here, but let's just go and make another one so you can see how that works. So we're going to go here and create new avatar. And traditionally, we are going for female, right? So let's just make it this one. And go find some hair for this one. I think I'm going to go this way, maybe. You can choose the hair color and all that. I like the uh, reddish brown type. Let's give her some green eyes. And we're gonna make her... Maybe like so. And skin is fine, I guess. Eventually you can probably make up a background because this is a multiplayer game. So I guess this is where you can actually write something about your character. So you can do a bit of role playing, I imagine. Um. You can add mustache, of course, we're not going to do this for the female character, so we're just going to keep it at that. Tattoos are coming, and this is where you name the character. So we're just going to go with the same as the other one. And confirm by holding down the left click. So, this game, I have set the settings to... Uh, let me just... Loud X. I set the sentence to ultra across the board, and we're running at two, two and a half K. Uh, limited frame rate at 144, I think it was. Just to give you an idea how it runs, I'm using the 4080 Ti graphics card and the uh, 13,700 K, I think, processor. So, yeah. This is our starting base. So basically, there's not, not much to do here. This is just to get in, you know, part of the story or feeling. So let's just head out. It says, find and gather wood. And you know, just to tell you, be open. I haven't really played the game yet, so I only just did the intro. Uh, yeah, let's go find some wood. We can't chop these big ones, but as you can see, we need an axe. So let's just grab a few here. And now it says interact with your knowledge, your first knowledge stone, and we're gonna find that stone up here. And this is where I actually decided, oh, I wanna record this and, and share the, the journey with you. So once we've accessed the knowledge stone, this is where my pre-knowledge ends. So we're gonna learn something here by pressing and holding E. And we get a workbench, which uh, is probably quite useful. Traditionally in crafting games, right? So. Build a workbench using the build menu. Okay, so build is B. Uh, let's just go out again. This is tab. This is our inventory. So you can see we have gear, we have resources, we have consumables, miscellaneous, and shared. I guess this is for multiplayer where you can kind of transfer items, I imagine. Crafting menu, conditions. So I guess we can be affected by what we encounter along the way. Which will probably give us buffs or debuffs. Dreams and progression. I have no idea what that is. Then we have the encyclopedia. I guess this is kind of a, a manual or introduction to how everything works. So yeah. But let's go B. And since I have no idea yet. Because I don't think this island is equipped to flying yet. So I guess we have to you know, slowly progress towards being able to do that. So let's just put the crafting bench here. I mean, it can't go completely wrong, can it? And can we rotate it? We do that by Q and E. It's fluid. So let's do that. There we go. Escape to unselected and E to use. So what can we do here? Ingredients. Mix only yellow dotted ingredients together to discover new recipes. Add resources below to begin crafting. Okay. So what would happens if we do it like that? And so actually we need something more to kind of make anything, something happen. 
Okay, now we have the bench at least. Find and pick up small stones. Okay. We're gonna keep the tooltips on because since we I don't know that much about the game, uh, it's certainly quite helpful. Long stones. Nope. I wonder if we're gonna be able to make some make some gear. Oh, that's what we're wearing already. Seems like oh, here's some small stones. These are what we're looking for, right? Lay down. Oh, so it's a way to hide or something? Huh. Create a sharp stone on the workbench. Okay, let's go do that then. So, okay, how do we do that? New recipe, okay. So we choose the wood and the stones. What are we gonna learn from this? Stone hammer, okay. I guess we should craft that, right? And that gave us access to a whole lot of new stuff out there on the top right. Can we bring this back then? Yeah, we can. And we can't combine this with anything. So now we got this. It didn't go into the menu, so I guess we can... Can we click and drag? Yeah, we can. So hammer means we can now build stuff. Oh! So we got foundation. We got rounded foundations. We got floors. Triangular floors. Stairs. Walls. Triangular walls. All the stuff we are familiar with from other games. We can even make grass. Grass roof. Nice. And what's this? Stone roof, I guess? Looks like it. Okay, create a stop shown on the workbench. We never find out how to do that. So how do we do that? Uh, okay, that's not the way. Let's go. Oops. So if we press this, I can't right click, can I? Oh, okay, so you just added two stone. Let's see if that gives us sharp stone. We did it. Uh, did we craft it even? Or did we just learn it? I think we just learned it. So we have to craft it, actually. So we put in two. Craft. Now we got the sharp stone. And this we can probably fit together with the wood, right? Then we get an axe. Yeah, obviously. So we got a wood stockpile, we got a leaf stockpile, and we got the stone axe. So I'm guessing we got the axe. No, we still have to... Yeah, so this is just something we have to do. So, that's the hammer. We need a sharp one, right? Missing ingredients, so we have to make the sharp one. Whoops, take that back. Make the sharp stone. And then take that back and fit that in. Now we got the axe. Oh, we actually did make it before. Okay, I looked in the wrong um, inventory. Okay, can we deconstruct this? We can, with R. That was a nice little hidden tutorial or example there. Craft a pickaxe, used in the workbench. Okay, so... How do we do that then? Is that this one and this one? Maybe two? New recipe. So, two sharp make a pickaxe. So we need to actually find more stone because we don't got one. Let's go and find that. It has a very light feel this game, you know, with the cartoon style. I kind of like the premise of it being a floating island. Uh, I guess we'll see how that works later on. Oh, we got a little thing down here. Are these... Can we open these? No. Maybe... What if we hit it? Oh. Oh, we got wood from that. Hmm. So I guess we can now... We, no, we need pickaxe for that. So let's just go here and see. Ah, we probably need pickaxes for that. But here are some small stones we can just pick up. Might as well take as many as we can carry, right? 
14, that should be enough. Okay. Let's head back. Then make the pickaxe. So, let's make two to craft a sharp stone. Take those back. Let's put two in and this to craft a pickaxe. Okay, put that in three. Followed path up to the up the mountain to the to uncover the secrets. So that's where we just were, right? Now we can pickaxe our way through. But did that just come down? Did it mean this way or did it actually mean that way? Let's go up this way. Is this open? And there are some interesting structures here. I don't know if we can get to them, but I did see some small videos that we get flying ability with gliders at some point. Let's whack this. We're getting stone from each of these we destroy. We're also getting tired. I think that is... Uh, so what's up here? Black water. That seems like something we need. Dirty water. Okay, now we have ten. Windstone. Oh, interesting. Let's just see. So far we can stack twenty. Let's try and keep going and see how many we can stack. That's thirty. And just keep going a little bit. Fifty so far. And we don't seem to have any encumberment going on, so that's nice to know. What's this? Oh. Another path. We're continu continuing up the mountain here. What are these? Monuments of some kind? Oh, look at this one. Maybe we should try and whack that and see what happens. Nothing happens. Oh, almost looks like a little ob obstacle course here. Feel safe to run across. What's this then? Learn? Oh, it's hinting towards what's possible, I think. Flourishing in environments or communities. Some type of, some type of uh, floating god, angel-like god, maybe? Glider stand? Okay, so we can make gliders now, in a moment. There's a hurricane out there. I think that's one of the things we're going to be watching out for, because it's going to be, um, yeah, doing stuff to us. I guess we should go down, keep the base central. I'm not sure if I should jump down. I, I, I kind of want to find out if we probably will take damage, right? Oh, what's this? Waterfall? Lay down? No. I mean, should I try and see what happens if we get, jump into the water? Let's do, just do that. Okay, I didn't notice if we took any damage, but we got wet at least. So, let's see. Build. We got machinery, decorations, those we got previously, right? Here's the glider stand. We need wood. We have more than enough. Maybe we should actually do a bit of tidying. So do it, you know, properly. So we're going to be making a little bit of foundation, right? Uh, so this one. To kind of keep it structured. And it doesn't seem like I can, yeah, I can go up, but I can't go below the ground. We're just gonna keep it here. How much did that cost? One? Will it stick? It won't. We don't have any sticky. No, snap mode. R. So we kind of just put the pointer at the other piece at the corner. Like so. 
Okay, now what? Oh, I, oh, I need the hammer? No, not the axe, the hammer. Okay, so we one, two hits, then it builds. And that took two wood per piece. So now we can actually place the stuff up here. I wonder if we can move this now that we made it. I'm not sure we can. Or at least we can place the glider stand up here, right? So, let's go find that in the building menu on the machinery. We still have enough wood, so that's fine. Oh, it's getting dark. Need to use. Enter. Create. Oh! So uh, now we can see we actually need some. We need leaves. Basic Oculus Sturdy Symbol and Vision has no special attributes. Leaf TJ Robust has no special attributes. Okay, so we actually need leaf. Uh, I'm guessing we can pick those up. But now it's getting dark, so I wonder how that's gonna... Oh, look. Is that... Is that just the water? Okay, I thought there were creatures coming out. What's going on with this? Oh, it's the windstone of what was called? Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, but we need leaves, so let's see if we can find some of those. What's this? Oh, it's just a stone. I wonder if we can make a bed or something to make the uh, night pass faster. Doesn't seem like it. Uh, building piece that can be stretched upon construction to fit specific need. Okay. Oh, there are different types as well. Didn't notice that before. Small and medium and large windows. Okay. Well, I wonder if we can still. How do we pick up leaves? Oh, we do have leaves. I don't know why it said it we didn't have. Uh, where did we put this stand? Right here. E. And then pattern shape. So what's this? Cosmetic? Oh, we can... Ah, okay, you can choose the color. Hmm. Let's make a nice uh, summer kind of thing. Oh, looks nice. Pattern? Oh! Hmm. I don't like this one. Shape? Oh, so we're gonna discover shapes eventually. Trails? Okay. Oh, this needs to be... Repurposed. So let's try and do that. That's probably the crafting bench, right? So we're gonna go here. We're gonna put in a few, three leaves to learn that cloth. Excellent. Whoops. Crafted. And was it two we needed? Let's try and go here again. And it doesn't remember what we did before, so we're just gonna quickly put that back. And craft. Equip. So, now we have that. Explore the rest of the floating islands to find a way out of the archipelago. Okay. So how do we... We double press space to f glide. And then we can boost with the mouse. And it seems like... Oh, I'm trying to boost, but... Slow down. Oh, okay. Wow. Huh. So that's there. And we have something here as well. We got a leaf cloth stockpile and we got stretchy long leaf cloth. A stretchy fabric used to create custom shapes. Okay. And it, yeah, it says floating islands. So I guess this is... We're gonna jump off this one. Maybe. Let's just go over here. Just gonna learn how to navigate this. Okay, so when pressing W, it's kind of going down like it would in the flight sim. Let's hack our way through here. Okay. 
kind of hard to see anything here. What's this? Maybe this is the reason. Salt crystals. Okay. That's the purpose of going in here, at least. What's this? Gather? Stone? More stone. Can we hit this? No. Nope. And we know what this gives. Windstone? Good. What's down here? More windstone and stone. Oh, that's where we came in. Were there any other ways around here? It goes this way. It seems to go upwards, and we got another way down there. What, what was this where we came in? Whoops, get off. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a bit... I have a little bit of a cold, so that's why I'm sounding very nasal and sniffling a little bit. Uh, so which islands is it that they're thinking about? Do we have a map? No, we don't. I don't feel like jumping off here because I feel like there's nothing, <laughs> nothing going to catch me down there. Oh yeah, so the green line around the boost is actually, you kind of save up the boost. Oh, we got something down here. Wow, it's so dark. I really want to... What's this? Find... No, that's nothing. What? What's that? It said something. Seaweed basket. Oh, we found some stuff. What's this? We can't really see it yet. What the heck? What happened to our... What? What happened to the other item? <laughs> oh, it belonged in here. Okay. What's this? Is that the basket? I think it is. Huh. Let's just keep it there. Uh, gather. Can't pick anything up here. We can whack this. There's a little bit of sh ship shape going on here. Anything else we can fly to? Daylight is coming back soon. Feels like it. Got a lot of wood here. I'm gonna leave it because it acts like a stair, so what's this? I wanna try and whack this. X. Oh, charcoal, okay. We've got a few different items here. We can try and go back and combine, see if we get some new recipes. Let's see, maybe there's something in these boxes if we... No? Nope. What's that? Oh, that's something we can destroy. Uh, here we... Oh. oh, that's just wood, right. A little bit of a building here. That was a stockpile. But it's empty, so yeah. Can we actually go inside this little house? Yep. That's, is that a chest? Abandoned chest. Oh, we got some free items here. Let's see if we can just stack these. Doesn't seem like they auto stack. So you can do that yourself. We can sit down. Oh, there's a bed. So at some point I may... I mean... Okay, we should spend some time just trying to discover some recipes because I thinking that we need to make a few more of the cloths and then combine those to learn the bed, for example. Wow, look at this place. What's this? We've got hay. I guess there's more to try out. 
we got a piece of paper and lots of stone. This is a nice little place. We've got a leaf box, leaf stockpile. Anything else we haven't encountered yet? A bit of no, that's empty. What about this one? Also empty. We got some salt here. Thankfully, they don't take that much time to cut down, so that's a plus in my book. Sometimes it can get a bit too much if we have to spend like six, seven, eight wags to get something. What is this? Is this minimal? Nope. Decoration. I don't even know where we are right now, to be honest, so we're just exploring. Jump, jump. Oh, this seems like a way up. Oh, I must give charcoal, right? Oh, look at that red thing down here. Can we farm that? What if we use the axe? No? Hmm. I wonder if that's kind of the fungus thing. Oh, that's where we came down. Can we actually go up the same way again? I think we can. Jump, jump. Oh, that was close. Oh, it, it felt close anyways. Yep, back up. Let's go and try out these resources and see what they bring us. I imagine we're going to learn a lot of new stuff here. Use that. Okay, let's try and combine that. Charcoal with water, maybe? Clean water, of course. Just like in real life, where you can actually use charcoal to clean water. So, let's try and make that one. Take us back. Wood and charcoal. That gives us a torch. Uh, we're missing something that's charcoal. So we actually gotta go pick that up again. So I'm thinking maybe that was three. So keep doing these. We can just hold down the mouse button and go crazy. Because then I'm thinking, what if we add a number of these? Why won't you? Do we have to go in here? Oh, there we go. Oh, that's telling us how to make stuff. Okay. Why can't we add this? That's what I'm asking him. Here is about. Um, let's see here. What if we go in the build menu? We got the haze stockpile. No new machines. But also no bed yet. What is this? It's still just a... Roofs. Let's try and add stone, sharp stone. Oh, so it kind of blocks out once we get to the point where there's no need for anymore. That's kind of helpful. What if we keep adding wood and paper and charcoal? That's actually a recipe, yeah. A sketchbook. Wood bamboo with charcoal sticks used to learn building, res building pieces by sketching them from the environment. That's just k kind of interesting. Uh, Little mechanic. So we can only add this with charcoal. What about leaves? Leaves, leaves. That was cloth. I'm just curious why we can't use the. Oh, it's still the same one. So I think we are maxed out right now. Let's go back in the build menu and see. What's this? Plus sign. Okay, let's go and find some of the charcoal. Instead of going down this time, I think there was some over here, wasn't it? Some bird wood, yeah. And let's cut this. Oh, a little ladybug. Sorry, little ladybug. Huh. Oh, that gave us wood. I need to find the uh, burned ones. Wasn't that the one that gave us charcoal the other time? Hmm. Oh, look here. Is that a bandage? 
think it might be. That's not a basket here. Put wood inside. I love how it changes the in that's not me by the way. It's the game that changes the inventory. Um per what item I'm trying to pick up or moving. I thought that would be a hidden treasure there. <laughs> Apparently not. So far, so good. I just want to see what was it we got. Oh, yeah, we got tomatoes. A red and acidic fruit. And then we got tomato seed. And we, yeah, we have the paper. Okay, let's go here. Still says we need to explore the rest of the islands, but I really want to. I'm hooked on recipes right now. And we can always get back to the. Uh, explore. Oh, here's a learning stone. Let's learn something. Leaf bed, there we go. Excellent. Let's see, what do we require to actually make that? Let's see, that's why we need the cloth. And we got a leaf basket as well. So I think it's. We're slowly aiming towards uh, building a little base now. Because now we can probably sleep through the night instead of wandering around in the dark. But I feel like maybe we need some wood now make some of these foundations and stuff so one hit to take the wood from that what's this that's decoration we can't do anything we can't pick up the bush but we can probably just jump out right because now we've got the glider so jump double tap lie down and slow down or oh, just land Okay, let's try and expand this a bit. So build, go to building, wood. And we're gonna make some more foundations. It's already snapping. Um, and of course you can be a lot more creative than me here. I'm just, I just wanna get something up. That's actually easier doing it up here. And then go into the hammer. Oh, oh! we could actually just have done it uh, automatically. I don't know why I, I didn't notice that before. That's silly of me. Uh, but let's take the hammer. Just build these. I guess you can do a layout and then... I mean, maybe it makes sense in cooperation mode and then someone can lay the foundations and then others can come and build on those. So it does make sense a little bit, right? I really want to move this. Uh, maybe we should just make a new one, dismantle this and build it again. Then we can see how much we get from dismantling it. So it's going to cost us five wood. Let's see what happens if we dismantle. Can we actually? Probably can't. Okay. Let's put down a bed. Oops. We do have the mats for it, and then we can rotate this. I'm just gonna put it way around here. And now we can sleep. We can set home as well, so if we hold E, this island is now your home. So I'm guessing if we do die, this is where we're gonna spawn in, I imagine. Um. It's raining. I don't know if that means anything. Oh yeah, we're getting wet. So that means something. So maybe we should start building a little bit of a actual house. Let's go here. Make some walls. Oh, let me just find out what does this plus sign do? Hmm. So what can we do here? We can do dark wood. Small pieces, half pieces. Oh, so this is the inside or outside, maybe? Let's keep it inside here. Can we snap it? Like so. Oh, it actually still makes the foundations. <laughs> Rotate. Here it's snapping rotation. I'm thinking we're gonna go like this. And let's just hammer that into place. 
So it actually says two, if you notice. So yeah, we have an idea how much it's gonna cost to make it. So let's try and make some roofs. Grass roof, maybe this one. Oh, we disabled rotation there. Let's do it like this and like that. And then we need to make a corner piece here, I guess. So we're gonna go and make this one. Uh, and yeah, is that gonna do the trick? Need to learn how to build this. Go like that. But then what about these pieces here? Uh, can we go parts menus B? Oh, did I build the small one on purpose? No, I did build the big one, right? Hmm, let's see what we do. Maybe then we need to use these. So if we go like so, how does that work? That's a big one. We can kind of freestyle it a little bit. This one goes here. And the, oops. You're missing some resources. I guess we need to find wood. Leaves are not a problem yet. Let's go here. And yeah, again, it just takes one hit to dismantle the logs. Can we actually destroy this one? Yep, got us one wood. Yep, let's get all that in. Okay, so we have we have some wood now. Oh, what's this? Oh, we can actually grow trees here. We have 29 wood. That should do a little bit for us, right? Uh, so let's work this. Just to see how much we need to build. Okay. So I guess we go in here again. And then we take this one. And circle or cycle this. Oh, so that piece actually fits perfectly here. I should have used that instead here, right? I'm gonna rotate uh, like this. Oh, there we go. Like this, and then we can do a triangle one. Like that. And I guess then go back to the hammer. At least that's gonna give us a little bit of shelter. Then we're gonna, gonna do flat roof up here. I think, yeah, let's do, do that. We kind of find out where it can stick. And here. And whoops, no. That was bad. Can we like remove that? Hold to destroy. Okay, so we can hold this one. Destroy module. I am holding it. Oh, then you click left. Okay, so you hold and click left. Hold right and click left. So can we reach up there with the hammer? How do we do this? You can jump? Yeah, you can jump. You actually, yeah, you actually need to jump or build a, a platform or some sort. Now we've got roof over our head. That's the most important. Okay. So I guess now night is coming soon, so we can actually sleep this time. Uh, what else do we have? Well, we have the torch. We maybe should have actually built that yesterday. Uh, let's see here. It's missing coal. Let's get all these back. So this is a way to restore the ecosystem, maybe? At home. A familiar environment lowers your blood pressure. You are more in the moment. <laughs> yeah, that's true, I guess. Okay. So uh, let's maybe let's sleep and then we can in the morning just try and glide out and see if we can do what the quest introduction quest says. So sleep.
and the game saves and we're back here in the morning so maybe let's try and go to the high point not even sure this is the right way well yeah it does seem to get us a little bit upwards yeah there we go okay let's try and find those other floating islands that it's mentioning i guess we since we're gonna find a way out of the archipelago we shouldn't settle too hard there's one over there Can we try and go there let's we'll see if we can go there whoops ah i'm being rushed a bit get up there and then go like this Almost it seems like a set of point this, right? So I guess there's nothing else to do than just get into the unknown. And then we can steer with S making us go up and W go down. And then we can turn with A and D. We're just gonna go. It seems like we have quite a range. We can boost. Land. Yeah, we got some coal and tomatoes. Let's get those. I mean, since there's no encumberment, I don't see any reason not to gather lots of resources. I mean, that could change, of course, as the game progresses. Oh, we got. Do we have a way up here, maybe? I feel like I should get higher up to get an overview. Uh, let's try and go to that one. Wow, there are a lot of little islands around here. That one looks like it's infested with fungal or fungus, so I wonder if we're gonna encounter anything here. Whoa, okay. Ouch. Destroy the corrupted corruption nodes to cleanse the island. Whoa, 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 look at this guy. Jesus. Uh, I think we have to fight him. Ouch! No! More of those? So we have to evade. Ouch! So well, it's like, like four or five hits. We can't do anything about him. So corruption nodes, one of these, is that these? Nope. Oh, we can learn something. Let's just learn something quick. No! We can't yet. So, corruption nodes. Must be this one. Ow, that looks tired. Okay. It's defending itself. Keep breaking it. Hopefully, we're gonna get to it at some point. I should go back home. <laughs> okay, hint. Hint, hint. Okay. Well, um, lesson learned. We didn't lose any of our items, so that's good, I guess. Oh. Maybe we should see if all the items we have can eventually be used to make some better armor or weaponry. Let's try and combine stuff here. That doesn't... That does. We got one here. Oh, that's how you make the bandage. I forgot I actually had that one we found earlier because that would have helped us up there. We can combine this with this. That's to make the torch. What about coal? And combine with this. No. Let's try stone. Only that one. We got these two. Uh, what else? Nope. Oh, by two of these we can make rope. Let's try and do that. Because what can we then combine this with? We can combine it with wood and windstone. More wood? We got a recipe here. Spyglass. That's fun. We made that. Oh, what about rope again? And this, this. Oh, two cloth and rope makes 
a bucket which we already had. The rope and paper and cloth, cloth. Field guide, a tool to take notes and evaluate the ecosystem's health on an island. Okay. So rope, wood, sharp stone. Sharp stone is also a recipe. Sickle. A rope, wood, wood. And we got another one here. Door kip, a tool that can be used as a hoe or as a spear. Hmm. Okay, so where were we? Well, it's night again, so let's just sleep. And then we finished trying everything we could. I mean, rope and wood. Yeah, we did try this one. That was the... What about two? Do you use that spyglass? Um... That's a sickle. So I guess we pretty much invented most stuff we can. And you know what? I'm noticing that the time has already run a bit. So this was just the first look. I hope you got a little bit of an idea of what, what this game is about. I kind of, I very much like the, the whole recipe system. It kind of re resembles a little bit Minecraft, doesn't it? Where you kind of have to combine stuff and then you learn that it actually makes new things. So I, I like that little... Uh, element because it's not many uh, crafting survival games have been using that for a while so yeah it's good and yeah i kind of like the light feel to the game and we do have some combat so it's not just about survival and we also have an overall mission so i guess that also helps us keep moving forward or wanting to keep moving forward so i can imagine i'm i'm gonna be playing this a little bit more it is just a demo right so um, it's limited what we can achieve uh, at, at the moment, but what we can achieve is, seems to be quite interesting, nonetheless. So yeah, I just want to say thanks for stopping by and I'll see you again in the next video. Bye guys.